Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped. Now it's not every day you get to park a Ferrari Roma on your drive and then actually have access to it for the whole weekend. So I thought I needed to do something really special for this video. I don't just want to do a road test of that beautiful Italian masterpiece behind me. No, I thought, well, this car, a Ferrari, a special occasion car, surely I should take it to somewhere really special with someone really special. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video, because in this video, myself and Tracy are gonna take that car to some five-star luxury and maybe even sample a Michelin star or two. Now, so far in my time as an automotive content creator on YouTube, I've been very lucky to drive a few Ferraris. As a kid growing up, it was always the mark that I lusted after, probably helped by the likes of Magnum PI, I think. But I've never actually driven a Roma. I guess the closest to this, I drove a Portofino M in Italy last year from the Ferrari factory. That was a pretty special day, I can assure you. And I have been close a couple of times to driving the Roma but I really wanted to do something special with one. So I'm very lucky Ferrari UK have lent me this beautiful car. The color is Grigio Alloy. It's a beautiful silver blue hue. It's a stunning color. I don't know whether the camera is gonna do it justice at all. It reminds me a little bit actually of the Dolomite silver on my Porsche Boxster. But I am fascinated to really get to grips with this car. I think it's a beautiful looking car. It's one of my favorite Ferraris they make. It's very shark-like at the front. Now it is a two plus two. There are two small seats behind the passengers. Unfortunately, the pups aren't allowed to come on this one, <laughs> which is a real shame. So it's just myself and Tracy. And we're gonna head off to a five-star hotel called Limpstone Manor and have a really lovely couple of days, hopefully exploring some roads down through Dorset and into North Devon. But before we do that, and before the rain comes in, because the one thing I'm not so sure about this weekend is what the weather's gonna be like. It's a bit dodgy at the moment. Hopefully we will have some dry weather and we'll be able to exploit this car to the maximum on some nice roads. But let's jump inside and I'll show you the interior spec because that's pretty special as well. And then we head off tomorrow. Um, so we'll have to pack the car up and get everything in it, but it's beautiful in here. The rain's coming people, the rain's coming. But as interiors go, this is fairly special. We'll talk much more about this during our journey, I am sure. As a driving enthusiast, there is nothing for me that matches looking out at a steering wheel with a prancing horse on it. It's a, a spectacular thing and I, and I know I'm very lucky to have this car this weekend. But spec-wise, beautiful mix of this blue leather. You've got some lovely grey Alcantara. You've got a little display there for Tracy or me, because Tracy's insured too. She's going to be having a go as well. Central screen uh, for the infotainment. And then this beautiful nod to the old open-gated shifter of the manual Ferraris with my controls there for manual and automatic and reverse. I absolutely love that. And then on the steering wheel, um, we've got a whole range of things, the little Manatino, which we can play with, uh, the indicators, it's a beautiful place. But 
the weather's turning. I'm going to put this back in the garage and then tomorrow morning we're going to load it up and head off to Devon. And I'm going to dream this evening about the weekend that lies ahead of us. Well, tis the next day and it rained heavily overnight. When I woke up this morning, it was pouring down. But maybe, maybe the weather gods are shining on us today because it is a beautiful sunny day, blue sky. Now, this is the luggage that we're taking. We're only staying for two nights, but I'm a YouTuber, so we've got a clothes there, a tripod, all my filming kit and my laptop and all my editing kit. And that needs to go inside the Roma, but I'm not worried because there's a huge amount of stowage space inside this car. Surprisingly, the boots are pretty good size to be fair. And what I love about all Ferraris is they have the spec plaque at the rear of the car somewhere, in this case, just underneath the boot lid, detailing all the specification on this car. Very, very cool. I also love the stripes in the carpet. Now then, let's get all the luggage in. Well, that was fairly simple. The boot has swallowed the two main luggage bags of my tripod. And if we come around here, this is a two plus two. So there are the two small seats in the back. Sadly, the pups aren't coming with us. So I've got my camera bag and my laptop bag, and there's room for Tracy's handbag in the back there. And that is nice and easy. And then passenger compartment up the front, loads of space. Right, I think we're ready to get on our way. You can do two claps for me, please. You are right? We're on our way. <laughs> I've managed to get you on uh, on the channel again. What, you expect me to speak? Yeah, I do. This is nice, isn't it? It is. <laughs> so we're on our way. Uh, so we not long left home. Uh, it's 152 miles to Limpstone Manor, uh, which is going to take us about 3 hours 40 minutes, if we don't stop. Indeed. And it's the weather's alright so far. It's not raining well, yet. It's not raining, I know. Although we are sad that the girls aren't with us. Yeah, we are. I know. Although Limpstone Manor is dog friendly, there's only, I think, one room that they have where you can stay with dogs. And we've. Yeah. what's actually quite nice is that we always take the dogs with us, so to actually go away somewhere where we're not taking the dogs is actually quite nice in a way, even though we'll miss not having them. Romantic weekend, maybe. A romantic weekend, is that right? Oh, excellent. And also, we're in a Roma. Now, you've been in the car for five minutes. Initial impressions? Well, it's absolutely incredible, perfect, <laughs> very expensive. I'm not driving it. Oh, you're uh, insured? No, no, no. Oh, no, yeah. It's far too much responsibility. <laughs> oh, no, Jason would be disappointed if you didn't drive it. <laughs> All right, I'm not doing it on camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but for now, we're going to concentrate on driving on. Yeah, you are. Am I? <laughs> we could do a QA. and a Oh, no. <laughs> Have you curbed my wheels recently? No, but thank you. Okay, just checking. You don't want to curb these ones, though. Oh, are you going to clap then? I was. Oh no! <laughs> See, it doesn't matter how fast a car you're in, <laughs> when you're on the A303 going past Stonehenge, you're at a standstill. <laughs> there you go. Enjoying the trip? Yeah, it's all good. You're playing your word game? Yes, thank you. <laughs> While I'm sat in traffic, barely moving. I know, it is <laughs> literally. Uh, at least it's not, it's not raining. No, Peter, it's not raining. But one of the things we are loving is the screen in front of the passenger. You're quite enjoying that because you can kind of see g meters is very useful. But it's some form of control. <laughs> so of course I'm going to love it. <laughs> what, so. uh, we're clear of the traffic, but that big black cloud up ahead doesn't look very nice. I told you it was going to rain. <laughs> I know, but I was kind of hoping it might be wrong. What sunshine, go to Ken. Look at it. I think we're gonna, I reckon we've got five minutes, maybe 10 minutes of dry. Oh well, should improve your driving. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> at least now we're at, we're, you know, at speed. One thing we are saying that this is such a comfy car. It's so comfortable. So comfy and 
considering it's a Ferrari, it's so quiet as well. I'm in sport mode. Why not? Of course you are. Of course I am. Um, but it's not loud and shouty and obnoxious sort of tour. It's just super cool, super smooth, very quiet, very comfy. The perfect GT car. Oh, wow. <laughs> I might go into wet mode on the Manatino, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not good, is it? No, it's definitely not That good. went from being sunny to being, it's gonna be wet, to being, oh my days, it's chucking it down. Yeah. In about two miles. Yeah. You're good, I'd bring you along just to do my sink clap. <laughs> so we've turned off the 303, and Waze is doing his normal squirrel. Um, taking us down the back waterway. <laughs> There's some merhusive potholes around here. It's very pretty. Which is, but it is very pretty, isn't it? Mm. So I've come out of wet mode. I'm now in comfort mode. Very good. <laughs> like some seal. That, ar, ar, ar. <laughs> hey, we're only three miles away. Oh, it's very exciting. It's very exciting because the sun's out. <laughs> it's been raining, the road's terribly wet. A really, really good journey, but quite I'm quite excited because we are about to drive past uh, the headquarters of the Royal Marines at Limpstone, where all the Royal Marines commandos are trained. Um, and it, it, it's just such an iconic place. I doubt we'll be able to see very much of it from the road. <laughs> it's probably like uh, a couple no. of soldiers probably, on the gates or something. Probably a big fence. <laughs> a big fence. Someone with machine gun. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's your big fence. Oh, I don't know, look, there's a... There's Commando a training centre. Yeah, training centre, Royal Marines. Well, but there's there's the guard house. And there's a big boat, look, yeah. the rib. I'm sure everyone can see that. Oh, that's really cool. That's really very cool. Right, we're... Next stop will be at the hotel. Thank goodness. <laughs> Quite thirsty, aren't you? Oh, Dying for a cup of tea. A cup of tea? A glass of champagne. No, a cup of tea. Okay. You have a cup of tea, I'll have a glass of champagne. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm, super pretty, isn't that? That's very pretty. Very, very pretty. I'm guessing that you just park up outside the front there. Like. If you basically go round and then have your car facing the other yeah. way. Very nice, very nice. Oh, do you reckon it? <laughs> Pop it, this is it. Excellent. We are checked in and in our room. That happened so quickly, I had no chance to do any filming at all. Concierge whisked the car away, but I thought you'd like to have a quick look around the room because it's beautiful. In here we have the bathroom with a nice roll top bath, lovely big power shower, his and hers hand basins. And then we have actually been given a complimentary upgrade, which is very, very nice indeed. Always lovely when that happens. Uh, we've got our bed just there. That looks so comfortable with all those pillows. And over here, a little lounge area, but for the win, complimentary gin and tonic. Absolutely mega, our favourites. And we've got a little sitting area just here with a TV. And then out here is a little private balcony and a view, which is absolutely gorgeous. The sun is shining. The ocean's over there, down in that direction. That's what's called the pool house where we're having dinner this evening. What a beautiful place. Now we've had a little bite to eat. We didn't want to eat too much because this evening we're eating here at the pool house. Now sadly, because of the time of year, the cover's on the pool. It's a bit chilly. I wouldn't want to be going in for a swim today. But in the height of summer, I can imagine this place is absolutely spectacular. You have a tennis court just there. You've got the pool house restaurant, the swimming pool, and then the most incredible view of the sea over the vineyards. Let me just show you some of the sights of this place. It's absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. <laughs> Thank you.
may well have just said about no one's going to be swimming a family has just turned up in swim kit they're going to take the covers off the pool it's heated it's open all year round i do have my swimming trunks with me maybe i'll be brave enough later to have a swim but maybe not but yeah we're eating in there later tonight and then tomorrow evening we're having a full tasting menu at the michael ken's signature restaurant inside the hotel michelin star can't wait bring it on So it's now the next day. We had a lovely evening, didn't we? We did. We did. We're going to head off in the Roma and explore. Not quite sure where we're going to go yet. Exmouth Ex first. Then we're going to have an explore. It is looking a little bit... Might need a bit of a wash. Need to get the key out, don't I? That'd be super helpful. Cold start. question is, where are we going? No, Which the way question we going? is, can we get out without having to go back down that awfully small road? Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm actually getting depth of this jingle. I'm really struggling to get. Okay, well let's not park here next time. Yeah, let's not park there. So no, don't park a Roma in deep gravel. It's actually not that deep. No. Vanagoba. Not broken it though. We'll park it on the yeah. solid standing over there. Yeah. So we come all the way out to Sidmouth and we just Exmouth. Where are we where are we? Ex Exmouth? Exmouth. That's what I said. We come all the way out to Exmouth and uh, and if you look in the distance up there, there's the hotel. <laughs> all the way across the bay. And then just the sea. Indeed. <laughs> We're now in Budley Salterton. And the weather's coming in. Yeah, fast. <laughs> really badly over there. Look at the colour of the sea, look the, how rough it is. Yeah. So having a bit of an explore, some of these roads are a bit narrow. There's a lot of traffic around. I'm being a big girl. Yeah, I'm glad you said it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm in a Ferrari. It does get a lot of looks though, but in a really good way. Lots of little kids taking pictures and waving. You've been waving. <laughs> It's like, hello! It's very sweet. We found some nice roads. Indeed. <laughs> it's called Tracy Nav. Tracy Nav. They're still a bit narrow and they're a bit bumpy, but what a beautiful part of the world. I mean, we're surrounded by like moorland and stuff. And... Yeah, really good for horse riding by the looks of it. Yeah. Well, the closest we're going to get to horse riding is we've got a Prancing horse. That's perfectly yeah. fine. Was that me. was that a good, uh, a good yeah. segue? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's more like it. Look. That's probably the most energetically I've driven since we've had the car. <laughs> challenge with exploring Devon, it's a bit like Cornwall really, there are some beautiful roads but you can very rapidly end up down a really narrow horrible one. <laughs> it's good for practicing reversing skills. Collected the car. Most excellent. Now it's got to work out how to put it in neutral. Look at that. Amazing. It worked out how to use it in everything. <laughs> uh, See, so she's got the hang of it now. Now we've got to do the most important thing, which is to get the thumbnail. So I think we're going to park the car 
kind of here somewhere and get a nice thumbnail. Well, we're on our way. We are. What a lovely stay. Thank you to all the staff at Limster Manor. It's been a very special stay. Um, and the weather's all right today. <laughs> we're going home. <laughs> Well, nice weather to drive home, isn't it? So how was it manoeuvring a Ferrari for the first time, Greavesy? Uh, yeah, it doesn't like gravel. No, it doesn't like gravel. Or well, maybe that's my driving. Uh, Did you do some wheel spin? No! <laughs> I don't really do much at like five miles no. an hour. But you, you are going to have a go today, aren't you? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I think we are. Stay tuned, people. Stay tuned. But yeah, last night we had the most spectacular meal. Eight course tasting menu by Michael Keynes. Absolutely stunning. Uh, a real event. It was lovely. It was really, really so lovely. beautiful. We got some nice roads coming up, Greaves. Yeah, the one that goes just across the top of the hills in a second is really beautiful. Are you actually going to talk about the car? Am I going to talk about the car? What would you like to know? I don't need to know, they need to know. <laughs> it's it's such an easy car to drive. I'm in sport mode all the time and basically it has a huge amount of performance on tap pretty much all the time. I'm not a massive fan of the haptic controls on the steering wheel, especially the start-stop button. That needs to be a a, a nice aluminium machine switch but to drive it's lovely especially when you've got a nice bit of road opening up like that indeed but it is a hard car to follow really mm. and this was never meant to be a review as such there are plenty of reviews of the Roma out there it was more of a how, how is it to live with and for me the, the reason to have a car like this would be to do exactly what we've done this weekend to, to go somewhere special um, to have a bit of an explore um, that that for me is the essence of what this car is and maybe not so much the the more sport oriented Ferraris they're very much about finding an amazing road and driving quickly and doing the driving side of things this for me is a, a lifestyle comfort and speed at the same time that'd be a fair assessment yeah, for sure. I think it's definitely a kind of everyday car. Yeah. And you know, you don't, you wouldn't feel, you wouldn't feel strange kind of taking it shopping or to the supermarket. Um, the boots are decent size for the weekend or going away, you know, going out and doing some shopping. Mm. So, um, you know, it's a really beautiful car. And it, well, I think we need to go and find some fuel. Uh, yeah, probably quite a good idea. <laughs> So I fueled up, popped in and came out and you sat in the driver's seat. You're gonna go... How do you request it? Go out, yeah, that way I think is it. As I requested, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just put it into wet mode. So it just, just backs the throttle mapping off a little bit. Excellent. Which is all good. There you go, you're driving the Ferrari for the first time. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Well, you know, I've been I've been driving it for like less than five minutes. <laughs> Not even five minutes, but in fact two. Finally, actually got you changing paddles or changing gears yeah. manually. <laughs> I've been trying to get you to do that for years on any car that we've got with paddles, and you're finally doing it on this. Well, it's easier. The big paddles, aren't they? Yeah. This is genius. <laughs> I don't know why I've not done this before. I know. We've had it since we had the S4. You've been able to do that. Never ever done it. I'm always like, do you think on use the paddles? No. Lane departure bong is quite annoying. Um, 
I get the feeling you're quite enjoying driving this car. Oh my god, I mean everybody just needs to get out of the way because it is an absolute joy to drive. I mean seriously, it's a bit of a worry. Hello! So this is, we're working out, the, the most expensive car you've ever driven I think. Oh uh, yeah, the most expensive and, car. And you've never driven a Ferrari before. You've never driven a car uh, on the paddles before. No. This is a revelation. Yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I think 600 horsepower. Oh, you did drive a McLaren 650S. 650S, but that was just up the hill at Goodwood. So that's the most that's the most powerful car you've ever driven, but you didn't really take it out of second gear probably. So you you, you like the um, Roma? Oh, I absolutely love it. It's a really different experience driving it as opposed to seeing the passenger seat. Do you wish you'd um driven it earlier on in the weekend. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, but it's a perfect size car for me. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh no. Yeah, perfect size. Um, so sturdy, you feel really safe in it. It is so uh, easy to drive and so responsive. I mean, could get me in a lot of trouble if I wasn't oh, very yeah. careful. But... Well, we are just under an hour away from home as we cross the new forest. It's a beautiful part of the world, this. Um, but I'm going to draw this video to a close, I think. Now, this has never meant to be a review of the Roma. I've missed out on loads of all the technical specifications and stuff. That wasn't the point. What I wanted to do with this video was, was kind of do a bit of a lifestyle Ferrari experience video, um, coupled with what our absolute first love in life is which is great hospitality and lovely food and that's what we've done we had a very special weekend away treated ourselves I think we both needed a break didn't we just needed yeah. some downtime um, and a huge thanks to Ferrari UK for uh, getting on board with the video idea and lending us the Roma for the weekend and letting Tracy have a go it could have proved to be a very very expensive mistake <laughs> because I think you want one now don't you oh well out of my league <laughs> <laughs> but guys, I'd love to know what you think of the Ferrari Roma and uh, this style of video as well, actually, because we've had a great time making it. A bit of banter between us. Oh, yeah. It's been a joy. <laughs> but guys, if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Um, and I'm going to... I'm going to sit here and just... I've got my little speedo in front of me so I can see what gear she's in, how fast she's going. Anyway, we'll see you on the next film. Take care, guys. Drive safe. Are you going to say goodbye? Bye, Kendlitz.